a carrier strike force preparing for a simulated nighttime attack mission. On deck, attack and support aircraft are ready for launch. And below, the men who will fly this mission are also being prepared. Which pretty well fills you in on the overall picture. The weather is going to be 3,000 foot overcast and should hold throughout the night. In the area, you'll be under the control of the E-2 who will be at his usual station. His code is Moonstone. Moonstone is also controlling the TARCAP fighters. So if you need some F-14 cover, call in the same frequency and you'll get it. On the way out, we want you to take a look at the railroad trestle. Take a good look and see if you can catch a train on it. The mission timing is dictated by the train schedule. There are friendly forces operating past the bridge. If they need help or get a couple of good targets, Moonstone may give you a call. If you don't get a ground support call, then you're cleared for a run on the tank farm. Your approach to the target will be high until reaching the drop down point. Keep low over the land, go through the notch to avoid their radar. In order to see their targets during this simulated mission, the crew of the Grumman A6E will rely on their TRAM system. TRAM, an acronym for Target Recognition Attack Multisensor, combines three sensors in one turret. Behind the center window, is a forward-looking infrared device called a FLIR. It discerns the differences in heat emissions in any object, or landscape, or seascape for that matter, and provides a television-like image of everything within its range. Ships are not radar blips, but ships that can be clearly examined, identified, and viewed close up. To the right of the infrared receiver is a laser ranger that provides accurate target range to an onboard computer and a designator to direct laser-guided bombs right to the target. The crew can select the most vulnerable part of a target, day or night, and be certain of hitting it. The sensor on the opposite side is a laser receiver that picks up targets designated by a forward air controller, or FAC, working on the ground. When the FAC selects and illuminates a target with his own laser designator, it is identified on the tram display, allowing the A6E crew to release laser-guided weapons with devastating accuracy. These, then, are the working tools of the tram system that make this multifaceted A6E mission possible. No other aircraft could handle it. Target number one, a railroad trestle. Using the A6E inertial navigation system, which has been aligned on the carrier deck before takeoff, the crew picks up the approaching landmass on radar. Low-level penetration diminishes the chance of being picked up by hostile radar, while the aircraft's terrain clearance system helps guide the aircraft around and through local hills and ridgetops. If desired, the Bombardier Navigator can also see the terrain ahead by using the forward-looking infrared receiver. A dam site provides a checkpoint on the way to the target. En route, the crew also studies the terrain for enemy movements or potential mobile armor buildup. Approaching the target, the BN slews his cursors, hands off the target from radar to forward-looking infrared, and activates the laser rangefinder. The BN can now precisely target the railroad trestle. A run is a high-speed level attack. As the A6E leaves the target area, the FLIR tracks the target, enabling the BN to accurately assess bomb damage. On the second run this night, a forward air controller calls in the target. An orbiting E2C hands A6E control to the FAC, who transmits target location to the A6E as an offset from his own beacon. As soon as the A6E radar locates the ground beacon, the BN switches to tram imagery for final positive target identification and completes the attack run. The last run of the night is for reconnaissance only. The target, a tank farm, which the infrared system can see more clearly in the dark than the naked eye can see in broad daylight. 
even to the level of oil in the tanks. All information is duly recorded on videotape. The mission is now complete. It's been a full night's work. But on the way home, the A6E could make non-provocative surveillance runs on ships in the area, locating and identifying them without their knowledge. Day or night, good weather or bad, the A6E tram system gives the task force a new dimension in locating and identifying potential targets. The laser ranger ensures improved weapons delivery. The laser designator, when used with guided weapons, ensures pinpoint accuracy. It's a unique system, an eye in the darkened sky, fully integrated within the proven A6E to enhance an already formidable attack aircraft.